Well, after beating this game like seven fucking times already, I think it's about high time I make a guide. So, let's get on with this. Uh, this is just yeah. a guide, so I'm gonna skip all the dialogue and stuff. Uh, if you want lore or anything like that, I suggest you go over to like Epic Name Bros channel or something like that. He usually works that stuff out pretty nicely. All right, here we go. The pretty much best starting class for pretty much anything is gonna be the knight, unless you want to run a faith. I mean, even a faith build usually knight's still best. Um, if you want to run, like, Sorceries or Pyromancy, though, it's better to go something else. Or if you want just, like, a full-on strength build, I guess Warrior's pretty alright. But I'm going to start as a Knight, because it's just all around kind of the best class to start with. Life Ring, I mean, honestly, none of these are really all that great, except for, like, maybe a Black Firebomb. Start with those, because you can trade those in, and maybe if you get lucky, you'll get a Titan Eye Chuck or something with the Crows. So I guess I'll just start with that one, see if I get lucky. Um, I'm not going to worry about any, literally any of the appearance stuff. So, let's get on with it. Gotta love them loading screens. Should have put this on my SSD drive. The redundancy of that sentence. Should have put this on my SSD. Yeah, so I'll say drive, drive. Haha, <laughs> okay. So I'll also be going over, uh, as far as this just being a walkthrough, I'll also be doing guides on all of the bosses with, through this as well. You're gonna wanna come over here real quick, kill the Crystal Lizard. The easy way to beat the Crystal Lizard is you strafe around him to the right and he... it's a lot harder for him to hit you. Ah, come on. Oh my god. Becker won't let me stay on his right side. Oh, hacks. There we go. <laughs> Rip. I did not get far enough behind him. Let's try that again, shall we? Best way to start off a guide right there. Didn't know they could drop something like that. Alright, let's do this again. What? I've never seen that go that far back. I see it's that's usually how that goes. to his right and he doesn't hit you very often. There we are. Much better. This roll, nice and easy. That's how you take this guy out. First time was a fluke, damn it. I promise.
all the gestures. Alright, so there's nothing really too important over here, except for you want to come down and grab this Titanite Shard, and that's really about it, though. There's nothing else over here. Over here, make this jump. Nice and easy. Titanite Shard. Boom. Hi, friend. Alright. Time for this boss. It's pretty easy. You just... The thing about this boss, like... Oh, yeah. I gotta take the sword out first. Derp. The thing about this boss that gets most people is his attacks are delayed, so everybody's always rolling early, and then they, uh... get hit by his delayed attack after they roll. Just like that. I thought he was doing his grab. Get some free viscerals. And then for this part, you just want to stay right behind him. And there we go. Nice and easy. Basically another boss where you just strafe to the right, stay behind him, and he can't really hit you at all. That sexy broken straight sword. Now I'm gonna be honest, there isn't really anything too worthwhile around here. It's like a early ember, a few soul consumables. That's really about it. The only thing you can really get here that's all uh, too good is the Uchi Katana for if you're gonna run a dex build. But keep in mind the Uchi Katana is not as strong as it was in Dark Souls 1. So you're not gonna be all super OP just because you got the Uchi Katana. Hey, it's alright. It's still a pretty good dex weapon, but there are better ones out there nowadays. Fading soul. I'm so lucky. Another fading soul. How lucky am I? Wrong one. And here we got a nice shitty shield, but if you didn't start with a shield, there you go. Oh, I thought I had enough range to hit him too. Rip. That guy up there drops Uchi Katana. I'm not going to bother fighting him because this probably isn't going to be a dex build, so screw it. It'd be a waste of my time. That is a nice early ember. Come right over here. Got another homer bone. Which aren't all that great, but I'm lazy, so I tend to use them a lot. And another ember. That's really all that's over here right now. There's a soul consumable up that way more. And although I think they patched it, you can run up the tree to get on the roof. Um, but I'm pretty sure that got patched, so I'm not even going to bother trying it right now. Yeah, I watched uh, <laughs> I watched a few different like first episodes because I just wanted to see how the game looked and uh, like literally every single playthrough I saw anybody do, nobody ever noticed that guy. I was just like, y'all are blind. <laughs> and not leveling up. Why? Because I want to save up to 20k souls ASAP and get the key from her ASAP. Which I suggest everybody do, to be honest. 
The Estus Ring is really helpful early, especially if you're new to the series and having troubles getting through places. It makes your Estus heal you for more, which is great. Uh, other than that, there's another Estus Shard you can get, the Silver Serpent Ring, which gives you more souls, so the earlier you get that, the better. Oh, I don't know why I did that. A lot of Estus, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Also, if you're having a hard time with the game, uh, you can get raw gems pretty early. I highly suggest you just pick a weapon like the longsword, axe, or whatever you're going to use, make it raw, and just put a bunch of points into vigor right away, and you'll have a much easier time going through the game. Because raw is actually pretty alright in Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 1, it kind of like sucked really bad. Unless you're going like a 60 in, 60 faith build and had like base stats for something. Kinda sucked. I did do a build like that once in Dark Souls 1. Wonder how good that would be in Dark Souls 3 since uh, Raw is actually pretty good. Uh, I shouldn't say it's good. <laughs> Still nowhere near as strong as actually having a weapon. Scale off of stuff, but oh well. Not really sure how strong a lot of the weapon buffs are. I know uh, Dark Moon Blade is really fucking strong right now. Come down this way, and we can grab an extra shard and ember. Aw. 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 Dogs. Fucking dogs. Honestly, the dogs are my most hated enemy. I know a lot of people say that, but just fuck dogs, man. You can be a little loose going with this way with your Estus, though, because it's not much to it. This guy's a really easy to dodge roll and you just backstab. Either that or you can parry him, but... I've been parrying so much with the Buckler that I have its parry timings memorized, so I'm not even going to try to parry without it. I just fail non-stop. Probably just get a shit ton of partial parries. This is important. I'm going to grab this. Longo, very nice. These guys aren't too difficult, you just stay behind them. Not further behind them than that. Ow. All planned. Ah, let me get behind you again. guys only have one attack that hits behind them, they don't do it very often, so it's pretty easy to take them out. Fitness Shard and Ember. So you want to do you do want to make sure you kill that guy while he's transformed. If you kill him before he transforms, he doesn't drop anything. You want him mostly for the Titanite Shard, though Embers are pretty easy to come by. Especially if you're any good at PvP whatsoever, you can just do Red Orb invasions for days. I think I have like 400 embers on my main file because I just do red orb invasions all the goddamn time. Because I'm an asshole. Bye, friend. Bye, friend. So, unless you want to get jumped, just come over here, running attack this guy before he gets his scream off. Don't aggro everybody. Hitting the wall 101. Pro strats. That right there is some gold pine resin. I'll show you how to grab it just because, but I probably won't even actually use it. Unless I get invaded or something. I should honestly be doing this offline, but uh, I enjoy PvP too much, so if I get invaded, I'll deal with it. Oh god. He didn't die in two hits. <laughs> Who needs ladders? <laughs> Alright, up there is... Up there is a claymore. 
It got slightly nerfed from Dark Souls 1, as most OP weapons did. Um, it's basically just as strong damage-wise, but uh, they, they lowered its attack speed a little bit. So be mindful of that. It's not as quick as it was in Dark Souls 1. Uh, but if you run all the way to that gate and go through that gate, you can get the deep axe, which is actually pretty strong. So keep that in mind. Also, um, just like you could in Dark Souls 1, it's actually not... If you're str really struggling and you need to farm souls, you can literally just go to the bonfire, respawn all these enemies, and it's a free few hundred souls, and you just keep doing that if you're really struggling. But, uh... If you're struggling that much, all I have to say is get good. <laughs> but it is an option, is all I'm saying. Why did the dragon not breathe its fire down here? I have to kill everything. Alright, there we go. Ah, oh, look at that. Raw gem. <laughs> like I said, they're pretty easy to get early on. I'm not going to worry about the deep axe, though. Or the claymore. Because I'm not going to use either of them. I'm actually not... I still have no idea what build I want to go for this uh, playthrough. Probably might honestly just stick with, like, the longsword. Maybe if I, uh get lucky. Maybe I'll farm for his uh, his weapon. The Lothric Knight longsword off camera. Oops. Come on. Ah, oh, that hit me. I can be loose with this because there's a bonfire right up ahead. Aw, oh, I was really hoping he would drop me his goddamn sword. Uh, it took me forever to get it on my other guy. I'm actually using it uh, to make a PvP build right now. Testing it out, because it has uh, 110 crit instead of 100. So I'm trying to make a uh, parry build with it. So far, it's actually going pretty alright. It's just parrying is pretty awkward in PvP, because it's so laggy. timing on it becomes super weird. Alright, don't just say oh, bonfire and leave Titanite Shard over here. Wanna grab that? See, I could have like, I could almost have a plus two raw longsword right now. I think I only need like, what? Two more Titanite Shards? These aren't too hard to get. Got one more coming up here in a second. Knight armor actually has, like, pretty damn good poise, and yet a simple little dagger can sit there and stun lock you. It's ridiculous. Stun locking is more ridiculous in this one than it was in Dark Souls 2, I swear to God. Like, literally everything in there. Like, somebody could punch you with their bare fists and stun lock you. It's ridiculous. Poise is so useless. So when you're choosing your armor, you either go Fashion Souls or just actual defensive stats, like Screw Poise, it doesn't do shit, unless you have like Havel's armor, Smoke's armor. This guy's a little bit awkward to fight up here because the roof is angled, it messes up the hitboxes a little bit. Last time I fought him, he fell off the goddamn roof. And it counted as me killing him the first time, so it dropped his shit, oh shit. It dropped his item down on the bottom, of course, and I couldn't get it. Leaving and coming back into the game does not work, apparently, so I lost his Titanite Shard and Ember, and I was salty. Let's get him back over here. Come on, friend. I want to fight you over there. I want to, like, fall off the edge or something. Alright, nice and easy. More Titanite Shard. I wonder if I scared off the uh, Crystal Lizard over here. No, I did not. Come on. There we go. 
another raw gem. So that thing always drops a raw gem, so uh, yeah. Nice and easy. You can pretty much make any weapon you want to use raw right off the bat and uh, just put all your points into vigor, endurance, you know, all the good stuff. Makes the game pretty easy, I'm gonna lie. Longsword's also a pretty good uh, starting weapon. So, you know. Honestly, you could beat the game with just a raw longsword and base stats and be fine. Might take you a while to kill someone like the Nameless King who's tanky as fuck, but still doable. Another Titan Nut and Shard. And you got this motherfucker. Ah, I really thought that would break his guard. Oh, I didn't get my stab off. GG. There we go. Damn, he didn't drop anything. Their armor sets actually, uh, stat-wise, is actually pretty damn good. Although I think, uh, as far as weight compared to defensive stats goes, I think the Alva armor is probably one of the best sets, if not the best set, and it looks pretty good, so there's always that. By far my favorite looking set in Dark Souls 2. They changed the way it looks a little bit in Dark Souls 3, but it's still pretty alright. I'm going to cut this episode as soon as I get to the next bonfire. Try to keep them around a half hour apiece. Make your life easier. Come over here. Got a chest with a pretty decent shield. And then you can kill that fuck that shoots fire bombs at you when you're down there. Keep in mind, though, with the silver eagle shield, it is, uh... When... It doesn't parry. It, uh... Uses weapon art for its thing. So you can one-handed weapon art. Which is alright. Some shields are good for that. Come on, Doge. You can come up the stairs, I promise. I have faith in you. There you go. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, God. <laughs> come on, just come up the goddamn stairs. I don't want to aggro the whole room. <sighs> this troll ass dog, man. Alright, there we go. <laughs> do 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 you friend come on nice and easy and then in this room there's an important key an Estus shard and a tight knight shard Come here. I want to aggro the dog, too. If you're a strength build, I highly suggest farming those guys for their axe. One of the best strength weapons in the game. Another really, really good strength weapon is the Great Club fucking thing you make that you put a heavy gem on that thing and it's scaling is ridiculous like I was running a 50 strength build with it and it's like plus six and the thing has like now nah, I think it's plus seven now. The thing has uh plus like 222 damage off of scaling alone and it's only plus six it's insane That guy, he doesn't really drop anything other than his halibird and his armor set, both of which are meh, so there's honestly little to no point in fighting him. 
He might be able to drive like Titanite shards or something. I don't even know. I've never farmed him for him, so I have no idea. I tend to just ignore him. It's not worth fighting. He's almost impossible to stagger. Like, he's really hard to stagger. He has a shit ton of HE, shit ton of armor, really annoying moveset. It's just kind of a waste of time trying to fight him. That's a ring of sacrifice. It's kind of meh. Hello, friend. Oh god, thought you were gonna step forward. Right over here is a shortcut. It's a rather nice shortcut. Skips most of the level. Bye bye, friend. You have no idea how many people I've killed in invasions using that thing. Like, they try to escape using it, right? Like, they'll try to escape using the elevator running away from me, and I just, like, dropping attack on them, or <laughs> go on it with them and just R1 spam them off the edge of the elevator and kill them. Like, as long as they fall off the ladder first, I win. It's hilarious. Rest of that bonfire real quick, and we'll continue back and clear out the boss area right after this. I will see you guys next time.